my YouTube family and possibly Estes and future Estes. So in this video, I wanted to document the week ahead of State Board, what goes into my preparation so I can offer any kind of tips I might have or insights from classmates I know who have taken the test in California, by the way. Right now, I'm outside of my Pilates studio because I just haven't been outside my apartment in a couple days. I work from home and I haven't really gotten out for a workout or anything. I've kind of just been cooped up studying, so I wanted to get out for a little mental break. I think that's really important and you should take care of your body and your mind as well. So... I've had a few classmates already take the exam and it sounds like there's already kind of been a hiccup. Our school was supposed to provide accurate up-to-date proofs of training. This is the sealed envelope you will take to state board. You will not open it, but something wasn't quite right with the ones they provided. So it sounds like the group that went kind of had a little hiccup there and just to have something go wrong that's outside of your control that the school should have handled ahead of time <laughs> makes me honestly a little bit nervous and I feel bad for the people who I had to deal with that just on top of it already being an uncomfortable situation and a lot of pressure when you're testing. I can tell just the energy there's a little Facebook group from my graduating graduated class and I can just tell like energy is really high. The people who are about to take the test are really nervous, asking a lot of questions. <sighs> um, so anyhow, that happened and we're all supposed to go pick up new proofs of training. They gave us like a day's heads up to say, you need to go pick this up by four o'clock, which is just kind of silly. People have work schedules. For me, at least, the school is like an hour away, a little over an hour, so just not the best, especially when we're already stressed and trying to prepare for this test. Anyhow, that happened. From the group that already took the test, I think the general consensus is that the practical exam was easier than the actual written exam. For the written exam, I think you'll want to study Quizlet, you'll want to know kind of the anatomy of the body. I think that sounds really important in the test. And for the practical, there's a YouTube video, I'm going to put it right here and also drop it in the description for you guys. This seems to be the most, the best demonstration on YouTube of the entire process. There's a few things that will vary from state to state, but it sounds like watching this video will definitely have you better prepared for the actual practical, which is the part I'm most nervous about because I already have anxiety. Having people watch my every move <laughs> makes me really nervous. I'm more confident in my actual written test taking abilities. So I'm gonna be watching that multiple times. I've already watched it two times. And yes, also, it sounds like you're gonna wanna bring a lot of snacks because you may not have time to eat a lunch or go buy a lunch across the street before you take the other second part of the exam. So keep water and snacks in your car. It sounds like people are just wearing all black. And what else? Definitely reserve a kit ahead of time from Rent-A-Kit. You can make your own kit, but it sounds like the people who make their own kit have more eyes on them. The proctors are watching them a lot more closely. So to me, it's a lot easier to reserve the Rent-A-Kit for $95 or whatever it is ahead of time, which I've already done. Make sure you call ahead or do that online. And yeah, I think that's all my tips for now. I'm gonna go to Pilates. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I would appreciate it so much. I love growing this community. I love our interaction and I'm excited to keep growing this channel with you. Um, okay, I'll check in a little bit. Bye for now.
Hi guys, so I'm just starting a little study sesh. So this is the site I mentioned, Quizlet. If you type in Esthetician State Board, you'll see a bunch of options. There's one specifically for California. There might be ones for other states. This is just a general one that I haven't tried yet. I wanna see if there's some different questions and terms in here that I haven't really seen yet. Like I've actually never heard of this word, saprophytes non-pathogenic -path bacteria that live on dead matter. So that means non-harmful bacteria. Good to know. <laughs> um, so there's a bunch of different features and this is a really great resource and study tool. There's flashcards, there's writing fill in the blank, spelling, and my favorite is the test. I just like to click on the test and go through these questions. There's matching, multiple choice, written, true or false. And if you don't even want to complete the test, you can select check answers and it will just show you the correct answer. So that's another good uh, way to study if you don't wanna go through filling out the questions if you don't have time this is a little faster but i do think it's kind of cool to test yourself and see if you can come up with the answer on your own i to give an example of a question i got wrong where the answer was actually in the question so question number five located outside of the corners of the mouth draws the mouth up and back as in smiling or laughing and this consists of the zygomaticus major and minor. The answer is just zygomaticus. I was thinking it was another kind of uh, part of the bone structure that I didn't know, but that's just a tip to look for the answer within the question. If you don't know the answer, here's an, an oh my God, I can't speak. Here's another example of the same issue. Many saccharides, linked to form larger, more complex molecules such as starch. So basically just by adding the prefix poly, which means many to saccharides, you have the answer in the question. So just something to look out for if you're ever in doubt. Another tip I wanted to recommend is starting a Facebook group for within your graduated class. Here we post a bunch of tips from people kind of reiterating that Quizlet is really helpful as well as the YouTube link I provided in this video. And then here's some other general tips. Um, the mannequin looks like the one we had in school. The eyes are closed. It does have brows. You can ask for a chair with the back if you need it. Your trash goes under the large side table, not in the aisle, which is in the YouTube video. So that's something to point out. You can bring your own hand sanitizer, but it shouldn't have a pump and a bunch of little tips like that. So I really recommend starting a group like this or even just a group chat with people from your class, keeping in touch after graduation so you guys can kind of remind each other of little things and yeah. Hello my beautiful SD besties. So I think I checked in with you guys last on Friday. I studied a little bit on Friday and now it is the day before the licensing exam. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really study much yesterday, Saturday, and I've been having a really fun weekend. I went to the batting cages yesterday, went to the Nordstrom anniversary sale, just normal things you do before your state board exam for prep. Um, no, but I, I feel like the whole point of the 600 hours, not the whole point, but I feel like a big point of the class is to prepare you for this test, so I feel like I probably know more than I think I know, and I'm actually really nervous. But I'm just gonna do my best, and thank you so much to my classmates who've been so supportive, who've already taken it, and have reassured me that I'm going to pass with flying colors. We will see about that, but thank you so much for your support. I'm so glad I have like a little squad of amazing women to support me. 
and if you guys are future Estes who haven't taken the class yet, you're gonna make so many amazing friends that hopefully last you a lifetime, and I'm so grateful for the girls I've met. And it's really cool to have that like shared passion because for me, I don't really have a lot of friends who are really invested in skincare the way I am. So it's just really cool to share that passion with somebody and um, talk to each other about your futures and kind of inspire each other, give each other ideas. One of my best friends, Francine, just sent me pictures of her website and her room. So she's already like doing the damn thing. She has it all ready to go. I feel like that takes so much like courage and belief in yourself and just I'm so proud of her like I don't know I think that's so amazing to just have that all set up so when you take your state board you're just ready to take clients right after so I'm so proud of her I'm definitely going at a slower pace it's just different some people go straight into their having their own business after school and some people want to work at a spa first I think that's what I kind of want to do to get some more experience although I do have a room set up in my house because my stepmom actually does lash extens extensions so she has the bed all set up and she said I'm welcome to use it so that's a possibility um I kind of just want to pass this test and I feel like at that point I'll have like a mental gate that just like swings open and gives me more encouragement to kind of take the next step. A lot of people have already been applying to jobs. I've gone on some informational interviews just to get an idea of what it would be like working with various companies. So I think that's a really good tip to start kind of finding companies or visiting spas or um, clinics that you think you might want to work at and just like asking hey can I set up an informational interview with you and usually like they respond really fast and they're really excited um, to do that surprisingly it's not really like a chore to them it's more like helpful for them um, if you come to them it shows you're really interested and passionate about the company and you're taking initiative I think that's really refreshing to see rather than um, on their end having to sift through hundreds of resumes to find um, someone who has a special interest in that one it's almost making their job easier so don't think you're like um, burdening them or anything so that is a tip for future SDs <laughs> and yeah I don't know I'm really nervous my paperwork did come from the school so that's good even though it was supposed to be overnighted and it casually took four days but I have that so I think I am ready ready as I'll ever be I'm gonna check in with you guys later but thank you so much for watching I love you and if you're taking your test good luck to you uh, and comment below if you are taking your test. I would love to know that this video like reached somebody and helped them in any small way. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, so just checking in and I wanted to share kind of what I'm keeping in my bag since, and by the way, the face mask on, I feel like I really need some self care tonight just to kind of wind down. And by the way, this is the mask I'm using. This is the first face mask I ever bought. I remember that so vividly. I thought it was so cool. It's the Origins Clear Improvement Mask and I swear by doing this twice a week and when I don't do it I feel like my skin looks like I can just tell it's a little bit clogged so I'm obsessed with this. It's good for dry or acne prone skin. I like it because I'm dry and it does soak up impurities but it doesn't dry my skin too much. Anyhow, I wanted to show you guys what I'm bringing. This is kind of over the top, but if you know me or you are in my class, you know I bring the snacks and I like to be prepared just in case I'm not feeling well and I need a little something something. So for the morning, 
and this all ready to go I was kind of inspired by daily harvest not swans obviously but I just put the kale the banana mango some little powders in here and I'm just gonna stick this in the freezer so in the morning I can just add my base which will be uh, almond milk and I'll be ready to go I'll have a quick healthy breakfast I can just grab also gonna make a coffee and be out the door and okay so this is the my battery just died this is the little snack I'm bringing I got a veggie sushi because I feel like it won't go bad in the car and I was trying to think of healthy things that could kind of be in the car for a couple hours so warm avocado and cucumber not the best but it's okay um, so I have that I have I have an apple cleaned, ready to go. I have, I'm just gonna show you guys, a water and a second water. Just cause I wanna get dehydrated, hopefully I have time to pee. Plantain chips, little Justin's almond butter, my fave. I never buy these cause they're so silly. It's like a dollar for this, but I wanted to have something to be excited about tomorrow. Or like to, I don't know make me calm not calm I don't know you guys know what I'm saying like something else to look forward to besides getting my license and then RX bar so key and lastly a little bulletproof coffee if I sound like anxious or weird in this video it's because I'm very anxious for this test but anyhow this has uh, MCT which is the brain oil really good for memory and cognition so I'm excited I've never tried this um, and that's pretty much it for my snacks I don't know how much I will have time to eat and I want to do an overview of state board so that'll probably be one of my upcoming videos but I'm just bringing this kind of for security maybe I only have time to eat an RX bar while I'm watching the rent a kit demo maybe i eat the rest of it on my ride home i don't know just bringing it um and then i have my paperwork that's going in my bag and then i have my little outfit like all ready to go just black scrubs um underwear and socks like all laid out so i just can be really fast in the morning but yeah i think that's it i'm gonna do some light studying and try to go to bed early um so i'll probably if i don't check in i'll i'll see you guys tomorrow at the big day okay i need to wash this off it's been like 15 minutes okay bye you guys love you wish me luck Just to be even more neurotic, I am brewing my coffee ahead of time so I can have it iced for the drive to Fairfield. I just, when I get anxious, I start over preparing and this is me also uh, trying to avoid Quizlet and studying any more than I have. Here's my coffee. I felt guilty about throwing away the plastic straw and lid so I saved it for another use I think I'm I'm losing it or that's just really good for the environment you decide um, last thing I wanted to mention so here's my bag I'm leaving in the car I just packed little essentials like tampons you never know what's gonna happen and the main thing is a valid driver's ID that matches the address you put on your state board um i guess that's important for some reason or you need to go online to the dmv and change your address in the system so it's up to date anyhow just don't forget the license because i don't believe you can take the test without that and without the hide the little address but without the paperwork that came in this envelope so you need that and your id and yeah you should be good to go. You're going to talk around the eyes, and then you're just going to do circle motions on four or five, temple friction, and feather off. And then you're going to go ahead and get your...
is the big day. I just got to stay bored and I think I'm one of the only people in my class who didn't get a hotel room. So I was very nervous about just getting here on time. A lot of people just made it seem like you really should get a hotel and that way you can just kind of like drive across the street in the morning and be all set. But anyway, I only live like 40 minutes away so I just figured I would drive here and it turned out fine. I gave myself plenty of time, definitely recommend. And yeah, I gave myself about like 45 minutes cushion in case anything happened. And now I'm here early, I don't see anyone anyone here really. Um, so I am supposed to check in 30 minutes before my test time at 10.15, so I'll be taking the written exam first. After that, I have to kind of rush over to the rent a kit demonstration, which starts at 11, so really only have 45 minutes, a little less than that, to finish the test and make sure I'm over to rent a kit in their suite. So. Okay, so some advice I got from Francine, one of my best friends, um, was to kind of just have the mindset of like a little soldier, you're on your mission, she said just don't get nervous, like think about the task at hand, be aware of what you have to do, you're on a schedule, you're here, you're checking in, you're taking your test, you're going to rent a kit, you're coming back to your car to get a little snack, and then you're heading in to take your practical examination, which is the part where you're doing about 10 different procedures, waxing, makeup, facial cleansing, massage, tweezing, microderm, uh, blood exposure procedure, that might be it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I feel focused and not too nervous, just a little bit nervous, but nothing like my heart's being beating out of my chest, and which has definitely happened to me before. Um, and like, not like my mind's racing or anything. I feel good, I feel prepared, I know I can do it. So yeah, I'm gonna spend the rest of the time sitting in the car, watching the YouTube. I actually had it playing on the drive over, which was really helpful. Um, yeah, so here I go. This is the last time I keep saying like wish me luck in case you don't see me again But this is the last time legit before I go take my license. Hopefully next time I see you I will have a little piece of paper in my hand and Afterwards, I'm gonna debrief everything and kind of tell you guys what's up what to expect any insider little tricks I can get you so yeah, okay. I'll see you guys soon. Hi. <laughs> you guys, hi! It's over. I'm a licensed esthetician. Oh, I, I just got home and it's like just hitting me now. I'm so happy. So, so happy. It was the most nerve-wracking experience of my life and I don't say that to scare anyone. You probably will not have the same experience I had. I'm gonna do a full video spilling all of the tea. I'm so glad it's over. Um, congrats to all the girls who passed and if you didn't pass, it's really not a big deal. You can just brush up on some things and take it again. It's not a big deal. I know a lot of really solid professional estheticians who've had to take it again. So congrats to you either way for finishing the process. And yeah, I'm just gonna go lie on my couch and decompress. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm not sure which video I'm gonna put up first, but make sure to check out my other video. I'm gonna spill a bunch of tips after actually taking the test how I passed and let you know kind of all the details of what made this such a dramatic, exhausting experience. But thank you guys for watching. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye. Tell me about your dreams. Tell me everything. Don't nobody care about your heart.